Okay, I've called this one Hearts and Stars. Um, I think the, the majority of people uh, that ask me for shapes, different shapes to draw, it's normally either a heart or a star. So I'm just going to go through uh, a shortcut how you would draw uh, both of those. So let's just do the star to begin with. So if I go to Shapes, uh, and let's go away, uh, away to a hexagon there, uh, but let's change it to a pentagon. So I'm going to change the number of sides to five. So I draw my pentagon. Just going to make it a bit bigger so you can see it a bit better. Now, using my line tool and my attach tool, what I'm going to do is um, join every other point. So I go across there like that. Across there like that. Okay, and if I go to my uh, delete part of an object tool again, just delete the outside of the pentagon, and if I go in here, I can actually delete those lines as well. So there's a, a perfect star that I've drawn using the pentagon and the attach tool. Put that to one side. Okay, a heart. Uh, Bit more difficult. This uh, you need to come off of grid lock and step lock. Now I'm going to have a go at this. Sometimes it works really well. Sometimes it doesn't. So I'm just going to draw half of the heart because obviously it's symmetrical. So I'm just going to come up using my curve tool. It doesn't matter how big you do it. Oops. The mouse is playing up. Bad workman and all that. So it's going to look a little bit like an ear. I'm hoping that you'll see that it's going to be half a heart. Okay, so there's my half a heart. I'm going to select it. I'm going to copy it so I've got it for the other side. And I'm going to flip it. And then you just come up here. Remember what we said about always having lines that overlap so you can trim them off later. Okay, and there's there's my heart. Just gonna stretch it down that way a bit. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad, I suppose. So just a little couple of little shortcuts for you there.